The Controller General of the Nigerian Correctional Service, Jafar Ahmed, commended the Kogi State Government for its prompt response and deployment of security personnel, which resulted in the recapture of more than half of the SKPs. But as I speak to you, some are returning, and uh, with the assistance of the Kogi State Government, uh, most of them have been captured, and many of the security agencies, the police, the civil defense, the army, the navy, all have assisted in ensuring that the place is secure and some of the prisoners, such parties have gone into the bush to be able to recapture some of them and come back. He also said the inmates will be kept in an alternative facility until the correction center's fence is repaired. The Kogi State Security Advisor Jerry Omodara, who explained the role of the security agencies in the escape saga, said he was pleased with the results of their efforts. We commended some of them that returned on their own. Not less than four of them came back to police stations to report them to themselves. Apart from they escaping and we are getting them back, the floods have uh, destroyed so many things, including their food items and uh, other uh, properties within the prison's uh, area. The search for the less than 100 inmates still at large is still ongoing. The Kotokarufi facility of Nigerian Correctional Service is located in a flood prone zone along the Lokoja Abuja Road. The water level following the recent flooding is still quite high, forcing many residents like the correction center inmates to flee from the area. Avoid Umwagu, AIT News, Lokoja.